This video presentation will provide you with the steps for completing a basic assurances survey within the CQL portal. Please note that your ability to complete basic assurances surveys is dependent on the user role that your organization has provided you. Upon logging into the CQL portal, the user will open the basic assurances survey by clicking on the continue survey button. There is a timer located at the top of the page. If a user is not active on the CQL portal within a 20 minute period, then an automatic log off will occur. The timer can be reset to 20 minutes by clicking the refresh button or when navigating between pages by clicking the next button or on a specific survey section in the section grid. The survey does have an autosave feature so that all answers are automatically saved when they are selected or entered. Users can click on the Save Answers button as well for additional assurance that their answers have been saved. The Basic Assurances survey contains different question types, including a date picker, multiple choice, text responses, or multi-select. All questions are required in order to complete the survey. Note that comments and uploads are not required. Once you are done with a section, you can navigate to the next section by clicking the next button, or you can skip to a new section by navigating within the section grid. A green check mark will populate in the section grid as questions in that section are answered. A solid green check mark indicates that all required questions in that section have been answered. A hollow green check mark indicates that there are still required questions that have not been answered within that section. An orange X indicates that another user is currently editing that page. You will not be able to access that page until the other user has exited the page. Users will need to select from multiple choice options of either yes or no for each required question within the survey. Users also have the option to add comments to any question by typing into the comments and supporting information box. Users are also given the option to upload file attachments by clicking choose file, selecting the appropriate file on their computer, and clicking Upload. Once all required questions have been answered, users can complete the survey by clicking the Complete Survey button. The user will be prompted with a pop-up where they have the option to complete or cancel to return to the editable survey. Once completed, the survey grid will refresh to show the updated status for the completed survey and the only option available to the user will be to view the read-only version of the survey. At this point, the accreditor will review the survey and enter their responses. After the accreditation responses have been completed, users can view the accreditation responses by clicking on the View Read-Only Survey button. The user has the ability to view both their response as well as the CQL response. Users can navigate between sections using the next or previous buttons or by selecting the section within the section grid. Users can download both response sets to PDF by selecting the download as PDF button. This concludes our video presentation on completing a basic assurances survey and then reviewing accreditation responses within the CQL portal.